All right, this is a demonstration of what I believe to be a hardware flaw in the System76 Darter laptop. Uh, the Wi-Fi antenna runs right about here under the keyboard, and I believe when you're in a normal typing position, uh, you inappropriately degrade the Wi-Fi signal to the point where it's unusable. Uh, just a quick demonstration of what I'm doing. Uh, Timestamp, print out the SSID you're connected to, then it does an iperf 20 times to uh, my home server. <laughs> Uh, it then sleeps for five seconds between, so it gets a good output. And for this test, I've moved my access point, so it's literally within line of sight. Couldn't possibly be more ideal. Um, just so my wife can show, uh, this is my position that I'm normally in. So it should be perfectly acceptable. I'm not doing anything crazy. you sitting on the laptop like this. So I'm going to actually run the command, and I'm going to run it. Um, I'm starting out with my hands off the keyboard. If you could just show the keyboard. So we'll let it run a couple times and we'll see what we come up with. 3.62 megabits a second. And I'm going to attach the output of this. Eight point eleven, that's kind of more what I expect. Watch out your hands get in the danger zone. Okay, 5.8. Now I'm going to put my fingers and take a look. In the, look at my hands on there. Just look in the typing position. Okay, this is nothing inappropriate. This is what you would expect for sitting there typing on the keyboard. And I understand some degradation should be considered normal. I believe it's absolutely extreme in this case. Notice the iperf command is now taking longer to run. It usually takes 10 seconds to run. One hundred forty six kilobits a second. Took twenty one point six to transfer three twenty four. And you can see my hands are just sitting here. I'm not doing anything inappropriate. I'm sitting in the same spot, not doing anything crazy. Seventy seven kilobits a second. We'll let it run for one more cycle, then I'm going to take my hands away. This is running a Debian SID, so experimental. It's fully up to date, two hundred twenty six. Now my hands are away. Back up. So my hands are now away. Debian SID, I, I run it update constantly. So it's always fully patched. It should be good to go. Um, it always gets the latest 7.59 megabits a second. Speeds right back up. Seven point seventeen, right back to normal speeds. So the real problem here is if I'm using this laptop on my lap, it's effectively not an internet connected device. Um, I've kind of given up on working through support on this thing. I think I'm out of warranty anyway. For it, the speeds are stable as anything once you get this. I mean, it, it is absolutely that. It was just there's. I've done every possible test you can do. The software is set up beautifully. I've restored to CD. I get this constantly. Okay, I don't even know if there's any, here we'll go back. I'm gonna put my hands back on, look down. So hands are back on. Drop down to 1.40. I mean, this is in line of sight. You can imagine if it's back where it's supposed to be tucked away, you know, it, you, it's unusable. 1.22. Significant consistent degradation if your hands are in the keyboard position. I don't know that we need to run it through all 20 cycles of this, but it's pretty consistent. I mean, I've 
basically given up using this. I, uh, I mean, I, I've given up on my warranty. I had it plugged into an Ethernet cord for a while. Of course, the little trap door broke off pretty instantly trying to use it with a wire in my lap. So I braced it in with some wire just to give it a point to attach to. I mean, it works, but this is kind of, you know, you can't really use it anymore. So uh, I've been trying out a couple of different USB adapters. This is an Edimax Wi-Fi USB AP. Uh, I find that the USB ports on this overheat after a while. So I've also kind of given up on that. I don't know. This guy may just get subjugated to my server room as a just a test box, but uh, wanted to just demonstrate it. That's pretty much it.